Shalom all. I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. And I want to give double honors to the apostles, the great millstone of Yasharala. And I want to give all salutations to the brothers of GMS. Jeremiah 28 and 8. Yeah, if you get in the wars, the Bible prophecies, check it out. The prophet that have been before me and before thee of old prophesizing both against many countries and against great kingdoms of uh, wars and evils and uh, pestilence. You know, that's going on right now. Uh, there's rumors of wars on the news, on daily motions, on the internet. That's what's going on in uh, Bible prophecies, you know. Washington's voice concern over Turkey's decision to buy a Russian-made air defense system has even hinted at the possibility of sanctions against any of its NATO allies with similar ideas. You know, it goes against our policy to have a NATO ally, such as Turkey, uh, use an S-400 system. Part of the problem with that it is that it is not interoperable with other NATO systems. And so we are against the um, having some of our partners and allies around the world uh, potentially purchase S-400s. And it would trigger CATS sanctions? I, I'm not going to get into that, but we have made very clear what could trigger sanctions uh, for other countries and entities around the world. The Russia made S-400 missile systems capable of hitting multiple high-speed aerial targets within a range of 400 kilometers. Now, the deal signed by Turkey and Russia last year is worth $2.5 billion, and the first systems will be delivered next year. Ankara has been looking to bolster its air defenses since the U.S. withdrew its Patriot missiles from the Syrian border region back in 2015. Meantime, Russia has long-time partners in the arms trade from all over the world, as the head of the state arms exporter explains. The S-400 is the most advanced missile defense system in the world. Countries are already lining up to purchase it. We have gained a firm foothold in the arms sales market of Arab countries. There is a traditional partnership with India and China. Our allies in the Collective Security Treaty Organization also work with our military industries on modernizing their armed forces. Former U.S. diplomat Jim Jatras thinks Washington's angry over Ankara's purchase of the S-400 systems because it undermines U.S. attempts to damage Russia. The people behind these policies uh, do not look at Russia as a partner at all. They look at it as an adversary and uh, that their goal is essentially regime change in Russia. Buying Russian weapons is not bad because they're a competitor for business. They're bad because there is essentially a full-scale political warfare being carried on against the Russian Federation by the agencies of the American government. I don't know that this is necessarily what uh, President Trump wants, but it certainly what the Department of State, Department of Treasury, and other organs of the government want. And the purchase of Russian weapons is bad because Russia is bad. I think uh, that uh, not only with regard to arms purchases, but every other excuse we can think of, we will find ways to put new sanctions on Russia or countries and companies that deal with Russia.